For his phenomenal commitment to the fields of material science, Mayo Kaku has in reality affirmed that the James Webb Space Telescope has seen six huge structures that experts thought couldn't exist. These evaluations have the possibility to open up new perspectives in how we might interpret the universe. The disclosure is both engaging and moderate, testing existing speculation about the turn of events and progression of universes. It is, therefore, valuable to keep an eye out for these updates. The affirmation by such a recognized expert highlights the significance of these exposures. Mayo Kaku is an astonishing figure in the scientific field, a physicist of American and Japanese legacy. He is considered an expert in both traditional exploratory material science and quantum mechanics. In contrast to some more moderate and questionable experts, Kaku has been open to the dumbfounding delayed results of the James Webb Space Telescope mission. His energy to embrace new revelations and share them with the public exhibits his commitment to advancing understanding of how we might interpret the universe. We are fulfilled that this recognized researcher has chosen to end his silence and straightforwardly share what can no longer be denied. The energy and nearly engaged tone of the famous physicist are clear in his remarks on the disclosure made by the James Webb Space Telescope, showing that this has been an element that has ignited his interest. Join us to explore the ramifications of Mayo Kaku's divulgence of these six gigantic structures. Kaku is a scientist who has forever had the option to consider new speculations. Throughout his life, he has shown a responsiveness to ideas that rock the boat, understanding that Einstein's theories of relativity and Newton's regulations, while crucial, are lacking to make sense of the full intricacy of the universe. Kaku values that the disclosures of the new telescope can potentially advance the area of cosmology. However, numerous of his associates still can't seem to embrace this view. This has caused concern and restlessness among the Big Bang advocates and critics of quantum mechanics. Anyway, this merely experiences chuckling from Kaku. The JWST has uncovered the disclosure of six giant universes tracing all the way back to the earliest seasons of the universe. Each of these vainglorious systems contains a larger number of stars than our own Milky Way, notwithstanding having formed only 200 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The group of space researchers who made the disclosure has named these wonderful cosmic systems universe breakers, since whenever confirmed, they would drastically change our comprehension of the universe. The results of these disclosures are huge, proposing that the universe's initial years were significantly more robust and complex than previously figured. Something doesn't fit here any longer. The hypothesis of how things came to be lets us know that the universe was turbulent after the initial event. The first strong items took an immense number of years to frame, and it took significantly more years for these items to reach adequate thickness and produce light. The development of intricate designs like universes was accepted to happen a lot later. A portion of the newly tracked down cosmic systems eclipsed the Milky Way in size, and their monstrous splendor suggests that they were likely forming many new stars each year, while our world forms stars irregularly. It remains muddled unequivocally when the primary systems formed. Researchers have not yet resolved this. The main clear thing is that from the beginning, there could have been only single stars or gatherings of stars that ultimately consolidated to form larger designs until dwarf worlds encouraged little vast systems that advanced over time. Amazingly, large and huge systems were believed to be incapable of existing around then, which brings up the issue of whether the universe is a lot older than recently recognized or whether complex cosmic designs formed significantly earlier. This current circumstance is hard to acknowledge for moderate science, which still finds issues with this model. Some parts of material science have unequivocally dismissed this disclosure and questioned potential mistakes in the age estimates. Kaku is aware of this and had this to say, There are various models of old and misleading speculations that adamantly continue because of the impact of specific experts. A considerable lot of these hypotheses were possibly uncovered when critical research revealed their imperfections. In this way, the catchphrase in any science, particularly in physics, rests with the experimentalists who keep the scientists ready and mindful. Truth be told, on Earth we have scarcely any information about the genuine beginnings of the universe. This explanation from Kaku highlights the significance of continuous trial and error, furthermore, approval in the scientific process. The hypothesis of how things came to be was laid out in 1927 based on observations of the development of the universe. 
This information led to the conclusion that the universe began from a particular point and has been growing from that point onward. At the time, it was hard for individuals and researchers to envision a universe with both a start and an end. The possibility of a universe that had always existed and was boundless in extension was beyond. Human imagination. Even today, researchers still struggle to grasp it. However, it is fundamental to consider these potential outcomes, regardless of whether these new revelations don't align with what analysts have accepted for a really long time about the theory of how things came to be. Science has shown over and over that reconsideration and receptiveness to novel thoughts are a vital piece of the scientific process, very much like the acknowledgement of certain speculations and observations when Einstein was young. It was once accepted that stars and planets were immovably fixed in the universe and that these particular plans consumed a defined space. Anyway, we now know that everything in the universe is moving. Planets orbit stars, stars move within their worlds at paces of a few kilometers each second, and whole worlds move quickly through the universe, whose destiny we still can't anticipate. This remarkable comprehension of the universe challenges long-held convictions and highlights the requirement for continuous request and change in logical thought. Today, researchers are challenged to acknowledge awkward experiences and to grasp that hypotheses are not outright bits of insight until they are fully tested or affirmed by exact observation. The idea of the Big Bang emerged from the acknowledgement that worlds are getting away from one another, and this distance is relative to their separation from Earth. This perception, known as Hubble's Law, suggested that the universe was extending over time. Components like vast background radiation and the redshift of light from far-off universes, alongside other cosmological patterns, seem to support this hypothesis. Anyway, it is essential to remember that in the past, individuals who believed the Earth was flat and that the sun rotated around us also had observational proof for their convictions until new occasions or mechanical advancements came along that provided a clearer picture. Right now, we are seeing a comparable circumstance. Researchers anticipated the new James Webb Space Telescope to affirm questions connected with the Big Bang. However, rather, they have experienced these six cosmic systems that seemed unimaginable. This shows that science is continually advancing, and that researchers should remain open to new revelations and rethink existing hypotheses in light of available proof. The amazing revelations tested current understanding and provoked a reassessment of well-established cosmological theory. Analysts use redshift as a device to determine various measurements in the investigation of the universe. Redshift, otherwise known as the Doppler effect, refers to the adjustment of the shade of light as light sources and onlookers move relative to each other. To comprehend this, envision stopping and hearing a vehicle moving toward you. As the vehicle draws nearer, the motor sound gets stronger. However, when the vehicle passes you or moves away, the motor sound changes. This is because the sound waves change as the vehicle moves. The same is true for light. When a light source, for example, a far-off star pushes toward us, the light shifts to bluer tones. Conversely, when the light source moves away, the light shifts to redder tones. This peculiarity is called redshift. Physicists have converted redshift values into rates and distances for measurement in the investigation of the universe. Anyway, it is essential to take note that even a small mistake in these estimations can have critical effects. The estimation techniques previously utilized are now under audit. The latest revelations connected with our universe require consideration of whether they are genuinely founded on redshift errors or whether some researchers are just denying current realities. This is an inquiry that requires cautious examination and a careful survey of the information and strategies utilized in the research. The continuous examination and reassessment of estimation procedures highlight the developing idea of logical request. An abundance of thanks for watching the video. As always, we remind you to post your requests in the remarks section. If you enjoyed the video, make a point to raise a ruckus around the town button, share it so it reaches more individuals, and subscribe to the feed so you don't miss more content like this. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. This source of inspiration empowers watchers to engage with the substance, encouraging a community of inquisitive minds eager to explore and grasp the latest scientific discussions. The investigation of our universe with its vast distances and complex heavenly bodies, continues to interest and challenge researchers across the globe. From early speculations about the universe to the most recent revelations made possible by cutting-edge technology, 
Each discovery reshapes how we might interpret the universe and extends the limits of human knowledge. One of the most significant and persistent inquiries in cosmology spins around the beginning and development of worlds. Systems are like urban communities of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter bound together by gravity. Grasping how world structure and advance is critical not just for unwinding the mysteries of our universe but also for affirming or testing existing hypotheses. For example, the hypothesis of the universe's starting point. The Big Bang hypothesis, proposed almost 100 years ago, suggests that the universe began from a solitary, boundlessly thick point and has been extending since. This thought emerged from observations of the universe's extension and the infinite microwave background radiation considered the leftovers of the early universe's extreme intensity and light. Anyway, late revelations, especially those made by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, have tested several key suppositions critical to the Big Bang hypothesis. The JWST, with its amazing awareness and goal, has recognized cosmic systems that appear undeniably more huge and progressed than anticipated for their age. One such disclosure includes six monstrous worlds tracing all the way back to when the universe was simply 200 to 700 million years old, a mere blink in its 13.8 billion year history. These worlds, named Universe Breakers by the research group, challenge conventional understanding, as they are already so huge and luminous at such an early cosmic age. The disclosure of these universes raises charming inquiries about the fast improvement of the early universe and challenges existing models of system arrangement. As per prevailing hypotheses, universes structure gradually over billions of years through the converging of more modest designs and the amassing of gas and stars. The presence of these monstrous systems so early in cosmic history suggests a significantly more complex and possibly quicker cycle of universe improvement than previously suspected. Moreover, the revelation highlights the critical job of mechanical headways in reshaping our comprehension of the universe. The JWST's capacity to peer further into space and catch faint light from far-off systems has permitted stargazers to reveal previously undetectable aspects of the universe's early development. These perceptions provide valuable insights into the circumstances and cycles that govern system development during the universe's earliest stages. The ramifications of these revelations extend beyond cosmology. They challenge researchers to return to and refine existing cosmological models to better account for the observed variety and intricacy of systems across vast time. They also highlight the dynamic and evolving nature of scientific knowledge, where new revelations can provoke perspective changes and open new roads for examination. As researchers continue to explore and interpret the data from the JWST and other observatories, the investigation of world development remains a vibrant and evolving field of examination. Each new discovery brings us closer to unwinding the secrets of our inestimable beginnings and helps us grasp the key processes that have shaped the universe as we know it today. In conclusion, while the disclosure of these six huge worlds challenges our current understanding of world development and the early universe, it also represents a significant milestone in our journey to unlock the mysteries of the universe by pushing the limits of scientific knowledge. Such revelations pave the way for future breakthroughs and extend our curiosity about the immense and complex embroidered artwork of the universe.